Can you tell us who you are and what your job title is? So my name is, is Kathy McCush, and in terms of um, learner publishing, um, I think it was my idea for the first edition of Our Side of the Mountain in 2000-2001. Um, and there's a story behind that that I think is kind of important. And the story behind that is that the Department of Education every year would put out a, a volume of learner writing um, called Over the Mountain. And we missed the deadline this particular year. So I said, well, we can do our own. And instead of calling it over the mountain, we'll call it our side of the mountain because we're in Cape Breton and we seem to be kind of um, far away from the, the center of things as far as the province is concerned. So that's where this came from. Why do you publish learner writing? We publish learner writing because it's a very, um, to use an overworked word, very empowering and very affirmative for, for our learners. Um, everybody has stories to tell and everybody tells their stories orally um, and everybody, no matter how educated or how sophisticated they are, gets a thrill when they see their words, their stories in print. So um, that's why we publish uh, writing that our learners do. Uh, in order to give them this experience. It, we find it encourages them to write, it, it validates their lives and their experiences. Um, because so many people seem to think that um, if it's on paper, it's worth much more than if it's just said. So that by by putting people's words on paper, you know, we, we are making their words more, more true in a sense. Can you give an example of a small project? Um, a really small project, that, and one that's really easy to do, is a poster advertising an event or advertising um, the program that the students are in because, of course, they always want more people in a program. So you would um, go through the writing process by brainstorming the ideas of what you want your poster to say. The students as a group would write the, the, the copy for the poster. Then someone would simply use a word processing program and produce the poster on a computer and it would be photocopied. And then you can give the students the, the task of posting the poster in, in places that they know that other people will see it. Um, Sometimes you can have people write letters to the editor on a topic that they're interested in or something that they feel very strongly about. And the, um, the local papers are very good to, to print those. And um, another thing is that you can do a newsletter, a simple newsletter. Um, if you have more than one uh, program in your, in your, your, um, your organization, if uh, each class can write, um, a, a group can write a news item and you can publish a newsletter for the, the, uh, the organization. So those are some simple ideas. Can you give an example of a larger project? Well, a larger project that we at the Adult Learning Association of Cape Breton County do every year is to produce this volume of uh, learner writings that we call Our Side of the Mountain. And the way that works is that um, the stories are written individually and they're written on, in class time so that um, it's a project that the students work on all year to uh, to come up with the pieces of writing that they want to include. Then um, we encourage our folks to uh, to learn to use computers so that if we can get them to actually do the typing themselves, then um, once that is done, then the file is given electronically to um, someone on, in the office and then it's it's translated into hard copy which is then photocopied and bound so that that's something that um, that it, it, it's something that we do every year and sometimes um, the book will have a theme you know we'll suggest that people write 
in a certain direction and then other years will suggest that they you know they can write whatever they want and sometimes there's fiction sometimes there you know there's always nonfiction true stories sometimes there's poetry so that you know it's a there's a wide variety of, of different materials in the book and, and with the book, uh, every student gets a copy, and then we have extra copies that whenever we have uh, an event of some kind, we have copies out for people to take, and we send them to our supporters with our compliments, so that it's a, it's a very good way of promoting what it is we do. What skills do learners work on in such a project? Well, you know, the whole piece of the writing process from from the generating of their ideas um, through to putting the ideas on paper to the revision process which is you know adding ideas or taking ideas away or moving them around and then they go into the editing process which is of course fixing the grammar and the spelling and so on and so forth so that because it's their own work, it's production of these pieces is a real teachable moment for the instructor because um, when it's your own words, you know where the pauses are supposed to be so that it helps you understand what punctuation you would use in what place. And um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's much more valuable to edit your own words than it is to edit somebody else's words so that it's a, so that, you know, the whole writing process is, is practiced in, in producing something for, you know, for a book like this. And, and depending too on your setup, um, you can um, sometimes get students involved in the actual production of, of the book itself. You know, if, if you can uh, have a photocopier that's available and the collating of the pages and the binding and so on and so forth. So that, you know, you can really take it from just an idea to, to an actual finished product if you want. So there are lots of skills. What is the effect on their motivation and their self-confidence? It's very motivating, you know. It, it, it makes them want to write. And so then you get to the other side of the coin where you have to make people understand that not everything that you write is worthy to be published. So that, um, you know, then, then you, you have to get people involved in this whole assessment piece of what they've written, you know, which piece tells the story better or which piece do I like better or which piece better illustrates how well I can write so you know that you know there's that skill that's involved too what are the important points to remember as you think about publishing learner writing especially for someone who hasn't ever done it before start small that that's really really the, the, the main thing to, to consider. It, it's, it's like anything, learning, because, you know, for, there's not only a skill involved for the, for the learner or the student, there's also so a skill involved for the facilitator. So that if you start small, and then you can, you know, use a, a directed learning process to see, okay, well, you know, what would I have done differently, or was it successful? And so that you can learn as you go along. You know, which, which is really big. What kind of learner does it work well for? Works well with all learners. Even if you have someone who um, really, um, someone whose literacy skills are very, very poor, they can dictate a story to someone and have that, that, that story included in the book so that I, don't think that we've encountered any learners that this hasn't been successful with. How do learners like it and what is their reaction when you talk about it at the beginning of the project? At first people are hesitant uh, because they think, you know, um, I don't have anything worth saying that to be put on paper. So, so again, you, you have to start small with people. And then sometimes you create monsters, but you know, it, it's, it's, a, it's a really wonderful process for people. How do they feel about it after the project is finished? Very, very proud.
that's the only word to describe it is they're they're proud and they're they're pleased they're happy they've they have done something that that other people can see and that's very important to them what are the challenges you face in a project like this the main challenge that you face is time uh, because of working so laboriously on a one-on-one -on -one basis with students who are hesitant writers. It, it, you know, you have to work through the whole writing process with them and so that it can, can take a long time to produce just one piece of, of writing so that if you have a group of several students, of course, that's going to be multiplied. Um, another uh, problem is cost. Um, say you wanted to make a uh, hundred copies of a, of a book like this it's going you, you know you're going to need a case of paper you're going to need cover stock you're going to need the binding coils um, you're going to need access to a photocopier and the budget to pay for all those copies so producing a hundred copies of a book like this can cost a couple of hundred dollars so that if you don't have that in your budget that can be a real a real problem. So that those are the two main challenges are, are time and money. But they're challenges that are worth overcoming. How does your literacy program benefit from a project like this? Well, the the obvious way we benefit is that we have created more confident writers and that's what we're in business to do. Um, we create reading material because students not only like to read what they've written themselves, they like to read what their peers have written, so that, you know, it's, it's, it's wonderful reading material. Another really important thing that we get out of it is promotion, because this is a way of showing the outside world that we are um, a legitimate, valid organization, that we do give people skills that they need to function in today's society. So I think that that's probably the most important thing. Where can we find your students' published work? You can find a lot of our published material on the NALD website. So if you go to NALD and you look for the Adult Learning Association of Cape Breton County and follow the links, um, a lot of our materials are there. And, and just a plug, not only are there a lot of our learner written materials there, but there are other uh, publications that we have produced as well so that you can, you can find those that way. Mm -hmm.